Tonight, we're taking a look at the price of safety during the height of prom season and how local schools are working to keep kids safe in a time of tight budgets. Soon, local high schoolers will be occupied with dresses, tuxes, and limos, but school administrators are more concerned with everyone having fun responsibly. And now we're uncovering an innovative way one district is getting the community to help out and keep a close eye on prom goers. Danielle North has that story only on Eyewitness News tonight. It is historically a dangerous night known for mixing alcohol with risky decisions, but now more and more schools are throwing parties. Yes, parties to keep students safe and sober. Instead of prom night ending at 11 o'clock, what if you could keep the party going? A high school transformed into a carnival with palm readers, bounce houses, a casino, and prizes galore, all free of charge to students. That's how Barrington High School is hoping to entice this year's group of seniors into coming to After Prom. Around since 2002, Barrington's After Prom event is the longest running in the state. It's designed to keep students safe from sundown to sun up. The entire building that we see here, the gymnasium, there's a small gym, and then the outer foyer is transformed. And it's really an amazing night. According to AAA, the number of teens that die in car crashes peaks during the summer months, starting with prom season. Each year, between May May and August, 399 teenagers are killed. Barrington principal Joseph Hurley tells me stats like that underline the importance of having a safe alternative to the typical post-prom activities. And you were talking about the proms of old with drinking either at the prom or after the prom, and that was that was a huge issue uh, in this town and, and throughout the state. We've done something I think that has not only created a safe place and a fun place for the kids, but also just a safe night for parents so that you don't have to really worry about your children. Like other school dances, students in Barrington are breathalyzed before the prom. They're also breathalyzed at the door to after prom, and parents are notified if students leave either event early. And if you think those precautions have students turning away from the event, well, student planners of this year's prom say think again. 80 to 90 percent of seniors attend after prom. You hear people say in the hallways now, they're like, oh, are you going to prom? And they're like, yeah, but I'm just going for after prom like it's a whole different dynamic where things have switched and you really just want to go for this event itself we've learned more and more districts throughout the state are throwing after prom parties in towns like west warwick warwick north providence and east greenwich but planners in barrington say after prom doesn't come cheap with prizes food drinks and decorations the event can total in the tens of thousands of dollars so they're getting the community to pay it forward to keep everyone safe we ask everyone like all parents in the town regardless of what grade their children Children to donate to the cause and remember that soon their kids are going to be seniors and they want the same. Parent organizers from Barrington's events say that every year they have more and more school districts coming to pay them a visit to see how they fund and throw a successful after prom party. I'm Danielle North, Eyewitness News.